Hey guys, uh, so today we're going to be looking at a cool feature that ConvertKit has introduced which is having your own custom domain. So I'm going to walk you through step by step on how I do it and hopefully you can do the same. So when you enter your ConvertKit, the first thing that you need to do is create a landing page. If you already have one that you want to customize, that's fine, you can just select it. But I want to show you from scratch, so you just go to new form. So when you're in the new form section, you go to landing pages and then you select one. So we'll just select one at random. Uh, let's just choose this one. This is just for test purposes, so yeah. Okay, so uh, let's say you do your edits for the company. Let's just say baby Marvin. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for now since this is just a test and you're happy with that. You can just come here. There are two ways to go about it. You can come here and then just say choose custom domain. So these are the ones that I've already created. Uh, or you just uh, save this. In fact, that's what I would advise you to do actually. So save this. Then when you save it, you go to account settings. So in account settings, that's where you can find the custom domain setup. So you come here, custom domains, then you just add a domain. So it will be to your URL. So let's just say uh, freebies, for example, freebies dot baby. I've actually only used one domain for this, so this is the uh, first time I'm trying a different domain. Then you select your landing page. What was the one that was just from doing? Okay, so select your landing page, then click save. Then it'll come up with some uh, DNSs that you need to add to your hosting. So <clears throat> if you're using Mocha hosts, you come to zone editor. So you just come to the dashboard. I just hope this won't take too long. Just come to the dashboard here and then scroll down. Uh, under domains, you look for zone editor, the exact same thing with uh, Bluehost. So when you're in your Bluehost, well, when you're in your hosting platform, you just come to domains, then in domains, you come to zone editor. So in zone editor, you come and select your domain. When you select your domain, it will load. Then this is where you add your record. Okay, so Babe Marvin is on Bluehost. So just say you add your domain here. So just add record. Uh, host name is just a freebie the first part of the, the domain so which is this part here so freebie dot baby Marvin so we'll do this in in uh, Bluehost so just add the record there so it's loading the zone file so it's added so you have to do this for all three of these so copy that again and come back, just write freebie again, freebie. And so you add the second one, then just add record, and it to add, successfully added record. And then you come to the last one, freebie. And add the last record. Right, last DNS record. Okay, so after you've added those and it's successfully added, you will find them here. Freebie, freebie, freebie. So that's the records that are here. So you just come here and refresh. Okay, so let's just create another form. Let's create a form. Uh, so landing page. Uh, select the first one okay so uh, let's just rename it so we know what we're dealing with test, 
domain. So save and let's quickly go to account settings. Custom domains. This is actually a very, very cool feature. So I just say add domain. So let's just say test dash domain dot leading progress dot com select landing page should be able to see test the domain so that's it then save and it should give us the DNS records to use so, so we go to mocha host and then say add record and test underscore domain and we select the first DNS that we use add it okay so I had added an underscore instead of a dash so yeah so you just add the first set of DNS's and say add record and come back here select the second set add record again test dash domain enter that we'll go back successfully added select the second the third and final set add record again test dash domain insert and add record so you've added all three records all right and that's fine okay so now if we refresh it should verify so same verified okay so on baby marvin i think even that has been verified it just takes a little longer for bluehost to verify the settings but yeah that's just how you do it so now if i select this domain and go to a blank uh, page and enter it and then i enter uh, the page that we selected should come up and while we wait for that let's also select uh, the one we did in bluehost baby marvin so i've seen test domain so this is the one that would set up So this is a very cool feature. Uh, you can just customize your links and yeah, you can do it right there from uh, ConvertKit, just also using your hosting platform. Obviously you have to have uh, your own hosting platform. So like uh, Bluehost, Mocha Host, or HostGator, whatever you use. Yeah, so there we go. I think I'd selected a different page for this one. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching.